Uh, my name is Joe. I'm a department manager from Sainsbury's in the local Haywards Heath branch. My name's Louise. Uh, I'm the deputy store manager in the same branch in the local area of Sainsbury's. Okay, uh, what general skills do young people need when starting their first job? Um, I think obviously dependent on, on the sector obviously, but with regards to our area, it's just things having um, a little bit of experience with dealing with people, being patient as well because you get a lot of people coming into our business that are uh, difficult maybe, um, and you need to be able to deal with different types of people. So being able to think, this person might be want to be dealt with this way, and this person might be want to be dealt with another way, and just understanding people and listening to them and seeing what sort of thing they're after, um, so that you're, you can respond and sort of come to solutions and make sure people are happy when they're leaving your presence, basically. So what qualifications and experience would a young person need to have to increase their chance of getting a job in your sector? Okay. The beauty of working uh, with the employer that we do is that actually we look at all different levels of skills and employment. Okay, so we have a graduate scheme, but equally we also have schemes where we take people with fewer qualifications as well. So in answer to your question, I guess, uh, it's quite broad, but obviously the more you can put into that, um, you know, the further you can develop quicker. Why did you choose to work for this company? Um, I started as a part-time uh, as a student, uh, along with my studies um, at secondary school. Uh, at Hall, actually, which is one of the schools that are dealing with this thing here. Um, doing two hours a day. Uh, I studied at A-levels as well, uh, the history and law at A-levels, um, along with these studies. And actually, I was going to go to university, but enjoyed um, the experience that I get within the business. So I saw opportunities through a career in Sainsbury's. Um, and took them. Uh, there's different schemes that they do for us. So I actually thought I quite enjoy the environment of working with customers, working with different people in the public every day. So I felt that was an area that I enjoyed and wanted to progress with it. What information do you look for on a young person's CV? Okay. Uh, when you apply for a job with Sainsbury's, you go online and actually fulfil an application form online. So uh, as much as a CV can be very important, a lot of the information that you did need to give us would actually be given online. What I would say though is if you do submit a CV, um, you know, a variety of things, obviously all the important bits, but give something about yourself within the CV as well. Talk about hobbies and interests as well as as much detail as you can about what experience you might have, be it a part-time job that you might have previously had or that you might hold at currently, and equally obviously all your education. What are the routes into your career, so like A-levels, college, on, on job training, apprenticeship? Um, you can come into business at any level actually. Um, there is graduate schemes where you can go on to train your manager courses and things like that, but you can also come in from the ground routes and they offer you different um, aspects and, and routes within the business. Um, so for example, you've got we, we do a lot of focus on the youth and things like that, so there's a thing called we have a, the Youth Can, which is focusing on young people and actually not taking sales business, just a part-time job looking at career aspects as well. We have things like apprenticeships where it comes to we have bakery colleges set up so we have 22,000 people that have gone through a bakery or a food college that actually have accredited qualifications now while working here that they can do a baker, they can be a butcher, fishmonger and different qualifications like that from working within the business so if you if management wasn't your, wasn't your course you could also get skills in, in different things like that so you have to a leg of lamb and things like that, so actually being a butcher and trained in that sort of thing and, and the qualifications that we offer from these food colleges are credited as well, so there's a few different things that we can do once you're even in the business as well. Do people stay in your company and progress or do they need to move on to go further into their career? Okay, uh, I've currently worked for Sainsbury's for 25 years. I started at the age of 16 um, and I started on a 12 hour contract working on the checkouts. I've worked my way up through the company and currently I am, as I say, the Deputy Store Manager. So I hope in answer to your question you can see that actually, uh, yes, there are long-term progressions. And although my experience is about supermarket and store, okay, there are also other opportunities within our business because we have a logistics chain, we have head office uh, positions, we do uh, innumerable different roles within that from property development to food development. Uh, product quality, uh, like I said there are many different facets of our business 
Also within stores we have pharmacies, so I hope you can see that there is a wide range of opportunities for anyone who wishes to use or um, to choose Sainsbury's as a, as a uh, career. What general skills do uh, young people need when starting their first job? Okay, I think uh, enthusiasm is always good. I think you need to be able to listen and communicate well with people. Okay, uh, I think you need to um, have a passion for the job that you want to, or the market that you want to go in for as well. Uh, so if you're really interested in something, choose that as a career that you want to progress with.